Okay, closing time. I want to talk to you about Elliott Wave and show you wave theory. Remember, I use Elliott Wave in the stock market. It kind of helps me with my trading. In fact, Elliott Wave is the cornerstone of my trading. I've been studying trading for over 20 years and in and out of the markets. And for me, that's been the only thing that has been, uh, I guess, long term. Anybody who's traded, they, they, you'll know that you go through different phases. And, you know, for example, um, my very first job, I was trading for a dentist in his office. Uh, believe it or not, in Norman, Oklahoma, uh, Do Dr. Williams hired me and he said, hey, will you watch my positions? And, and all he, his whole strategy really was just guessing and going off candlesticks. Now, what you're looking at here in 2016, over 20 years later, I'm still using a Japanese candlestick chart. But is Japanese candlesticks enough to trade off? I don't think so. Why? Because I've done it. Then I went through a Fibonacci retracement mode where I was really hot and heavy about learning how to, you know, maybe I could predict uh, when a, a stock would retrace to 61.8 or maybe 75%. Then I found Elliott Wave or Elliott Wave found me. So let me break it open. Let me show you a little bit what makes Elliott Wave so challenging and see if I could do this briefly and kind of close out my day. I got some, got to exercise and all that kind of stuff. But this is Twitter, and I've been kind of showing Twitter because it's one of the companies that I like. You ever notice it's always easy to trade a company that you personally like? It's down 84 cents. I predicted that. I hope you made a ton of money. If you did, send it to me, Americana417 at gmail.com. It's down 84 cents. Now, I'm going to play with dolls here. Now, these are Russian dolls, and I've used this example before that within every wave, there is a complete cycle. So, for example, when you buy this doll, you look at Elliott Wave right here. Well, inside there is really three other dolls. It's a Russian doll, okay? So, if I break it open like this and say, okay, well, there, here's, the, here's Wave 1. Here's Wave 3. And then here's Wave 5. Now, that's Elliott Wave. You can even see that in nature. Then, obviously, between those is the 2 wave. Then, between here is the 4th wave. So let's look at it this way. The most important thing to get out of this video is how whenever I refer to, let's just call this the third wave. So there's wave one, here's wave two, here's the third wave. Some people could even argue that that's the third wave. Some people can even argue that that's the third wave. I personally think it's safe to say this is the third wave. Within this wave, notice you'll see a little complete cycle. So here's one to three, here's four, and here's the fifth extension. You're like, well, you're talking about fifth extensions and you just mentioned that was the third wave. That's the whole purpose of this video is that with when I talk about the third wave or I talk about the first wave or I even talk about Elliot's fifth wave extension, which is the largest wave, what I'm really saying is that there's a complete cycle. So it's, uh, it's possible and it, it's reality that in the fifth wave, in the third wave, in the first wave, there's a complete one, two, three, four, five. So learning how to count the cycles is um, both the beauty and the beast of trading. Hope that helped. Hope you made tons of money. Remember, I'm short Fibonacci. Excuse me. I'm short Twitter. I'm Jonathan Fibonacci. You can drop me any questions you have, Americana417 at gmail.com. Hope you enjoyed today's lessons. If you have any questions, drop me 100 bucks versus uh, via uh, PayPal, and I'd love to answer your questions. Otherwise, I'll just do a video. Uh, wave theory, in my opinion. I cannot imagine trading without using Elliott Wave. And this is how we ended today. Look at that. I called it. Still think it's in a fifth or a 5C. Remember, 5Cs are where I really, really like to take positions. You guys be good. Email me your questions at Americana417 at gmail.com. Have a good day.